Hi, I'm Sandra Pretorius. I'm a nutritionist and my aim is to promote healthy eating for the prevention of chronic diseases of lifestyle. Today we're here at a local supermarket so that I can show you what foods to look for when planning a healthy, balanced diet. So here we are at the dairy section now. Um, it's very important to include two to three portions of low-fat milk and low-fat yogurt daily. So here we are at the fruit and vegetable section. It's very important to include plenty of fruits and vegetables in your diet daily. What kind of fruits and vegetables? We should include a variety of vegetables, um, yellow vegetables, green vegetables. So how many portions of fruits and vegetables are recommended in a day? It's recommended that we eat five to eight portions of fruit and vegetable daily, where a portion would be half a cup or 100 grams. Why do we add fruits and vegetables? Fruits and vegetables provide us with very important vitamins and minerals that protect us against diseases such as heart disease, um, hypertension, diabetes. It's also very important because fruits and vegetables also contain soluble fiber which is very good for a healthy digestive system. Lean red meat is a very good source of protein as well as iron and this can be included in your diet three to four times per week. What do you mean by lean meat? Lean meat means all the visible fat has been removed. Here we are at the bread section. It's important to include whole grains in our diets daily. Um, for instance, a whole grain bread or a rye bread, which will provide us with some of the B vitamins as well as very important minerals. Um, it also provides us with soluble as well as insoluble fiber, which is again good for a healthy digestive system. It's also very important to um, include a good type of fat into your diet. For instance, avocado pear, which is high in monounsaturated fatty acids. Instead of using a lot of salt when cooking, we can make use of herbs and spices to flavor our food. For instance, here we are lovely fresh garlic and ginger which we can use to flavor meat or chicken or fish with. It's very important that we include fish in our diets as it's a good source of omega-3 fatty acids which is important for mental and cognitive development. So how much fish should we eat in our often? We should eat two to three portions of fish per week. So now we had a look at a wide variety of healthy foods that you can include when next planning your healthy diet.